Now, on the back of, of a text I've literally just received about one of my players who's actually done brilliantly and got into a singles and a doubles final at their club tournament um, and just got the report back from the doubles, lost in three sets, played really well, but the bit that I'm going to focus on today is the bit where she said, um, nerves got the best of me. So... I know it's a common problem. I've been there myself. I don't worry about that. I've been there and I've been in a winning position before and lost. But you have to go through these things. You have to win from a long way behind, really, to become a good player. You've also got to lose from a long way in front. You've also got to be able to close out some really, really tight matches. It's all part of the learning process. But what I thought I'd focus on today is this thing about choking. And if you like, these are the how to stop yourself from choking in four easy steps. But before we go into the steps, I think we have to just all sit back and realize that we are actually hardwired to choke. And the reason I say that is this. Now, you may have heard about it, the fight or flight syndrome. Now, this is where many millions of years ago, people think we were, we were kind of running around trying to get food and when a, a saber-toothed tiger jumped out in front of us we developed a system whereby we would get a huge rush of adrenaline that helped us to run away from the tiger or maybe to stand up and fight it which probably wouldn't have been too bright but that has been uh, something that's now in the human makeup as it were and we still have that even though we don't fight saber-toothed tigers so much we still have that in us. Now, the only problem is it's great when you need to maybe uh, avoid a screeching car coming around the corner and you're crossing the road or, or a bike is coming around, hasn't seen you or you haven't seen it. But in terms of helping you play better tennis when you need high levels of, of skill and control to keep the ball in the court, you having a massive rush of adrenaline is not the thing you want. And we all know that the best players in the world have always been the ones that have been able to keep cool under pressure. Now, in amongst your kind of natural fight or flight mechanism that you have in you, there are three or four things that you can do and work on on a, on a daily, weekly basis or whatever you can fit in to help you overcome them. And number one is basically to look at 